Hey everybody, it's Fearless Front here. Haven't done a video in a long time, just been real busy with uh, family work and uh, working on that thing actually. Um, good stuff, not fixing repairs and stuff like that, just modding it. But the tractor, the Murray here, has recently undergone some surgery. Uh, it's got a new clutch in it, which I actually did a video on, but the video file I edited it and had it ready to go and when I went to save it as a final file it corrupted itself which I've still got the video file I just need to redo the whole thing and I will do that it's just it was a long video and now I have to redo the whole thing so so as you can see not a whole lot appearance wise has changed on the Murray uh, the addition of the new clutch just required me to bend a small piece of metal right there and I welded the dashboard down because the bolts where it bolted through to the frame had broken off on the sheet metal and the hood was falling off but now as you can see it's much stronger it's like one piece and it's like solid as a rock but ever since I modded this thing and well even before that it had sat for a few months which I guess caused some problems with uh, just varnishing and stuff deteriorating as you can see the fuel line is temporarily unhooked and I think you will notice that well the engine is shinier than it should be quite possibly because it was covered in oil and I'll tell you why the fuel line had somehow deteriorated over time which allowed particles of rubber to enter the carburetor after the filter right there and got into the needle valve where the float bowl is and made it so the needle valve essentially was inoperable. It wouldn't close, therefore gas just kept spilling in. Now this wasn't a problem until I started running the tractor again. Um, it had been sitting for a while so the float bowl was always in the closed position but once it cycled a few times stuff got into it and when I shut it off I noticed it was uh, leaking gas. I took it all apart, thought I had fixed it, put it back together, figuring it was just some dirt and grime, not realizing that the fuel line was actually physically deteriorating on the inside which you probably can't see. So I put it all back together, had the same problem again, didn't realize it right away and the fuel filled the combustion chamber and which then seeped through the piston rings into the engine oil and the next time I started this engine it was kind of hydrolocked acting a little funny so I ran it through with the choke uh, in the open position and the throttle in the wide open position and sprayed the, the uh, gasoline out the exhaust and then got it to basically fire up very slowly. Um, it ran for a little while, kind of funny. So I pulled the air filter off and it seemed to smooth out. And in doing that, um, I let it run for maybe 30 seconds until I revved the motor. And I don't know if you guys are aware that these have PCV valves in them, but oil began to, luckily I had the air filter off. Oil, once I get this stupid thing off, spilled out this little PCV hole like actually geysered out like this high um, so I knew something was wrong shut it down uh, checked the oil and it smelled like gas that's when I realized what had happened so today I'm going to be replacing a lot of stuff so here's the bag of goodies I spent about twenty dollars at the local auto parts store to get all the stuff that I think it's gonna be required to repair this Murray machine back to what it should be yep We've got two quarts of new Quaker State, about 18 inches of new fuel line. Um, this guy is actually a fuel shutoff, just so the float bowl isn't always filled with fuel. It doesn't have one already for some reason. And a brand new filter. So new fuel line, new fuel filter, fuel shutoff, oil, and I'm going to be cleaning the gas tank out. And hopefully my problem disappears. Alright, so I got her lifted up one side there. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is get this oil set up to drain. The whole time probably I'm working on the motor, I'll just let it seep out into this pan so I know I get it all out. Yeah, that smells like gas pretty bad. Looks like water coming out of there. I don't know if you can hear it.
There's obviously way too much. Oh, good. Nice. Look at that nasty shit. Gas oil mix. So all that's draining out. I'm gonna pull this gas tank, do that, clean it out, do the gas line. It's just on my Murray wide body here. It's just four Phillips head screws. I'm gonna wash this sucker out. All right, so the gas tank's off. I had to unbolt the top of the dashboard right here just to clear that engine to get it out, but that wasn't a big deal. But now that I get the gas tank off, slosh it around and see the chunks of shit that exist in my fuel tank. Fuel tank's all clean. Inside too. I basically just hosed it out real good. Uh, held it upside down, blasted water into it all pretty much in every position you could imagine. Dumped it all out, blew it out with an air compressor, and then put a shop vac nozzle down in there and sucked any remnants of any drips left right out of there. It wasn't that hard at all. But there was pieces of wood chips and sediment and crap like crazy in there, so I'm glad I cleaned that out. But now I'm gonna put it back in and start building this new fuel line. So there's the cleaned out gas tank, the new fuel line, the new fuel filter, which I put before the shutoff, and that will connect to the carburetor. But I haven't done that yet because I'm going to take this carburetor apart and clean it out for the last goddamn time. Carburetor's cleaned out, fuel line's hooked up. I got some nice clean gas in there, not very much, but there's enough to get it running. I even went as far as to clean the spark plug. Uh, I topped up the oil, that's all done, the oil change. And we're gonna try to fire her up. And this will be the first time since it was spewing oil, like a geyser. So that's why I kept the air filter off, just in case it decides to do it again. Smoking a little bit still. It seems like everything's running really good. I'm gonna double check the oil. Make sure it's uh, not just eating oil as we speak. And basically consider it done. Thankfully, uh, I can shut the fuel off running out of gas when I shut it down, so there's no fuel in the float bowl anymore when it sits, which will be beneficial. Yep, all done. Oil change, fuel line, New fuel, clean fuel tank, and shut off. Probably gonna replace that air filter, but that was like 13 bucks and I didn't want to drop the coin on that right away, so. Next time, but thanks for watching you guys. I'll keep you posted on that next video. Keep an eye out for it. Later.